Hey, you have your tickets, right? <laughs> to what, you ask? Well, the... Oh, the Dr. Pepper ACC Football Championship. The 48-hour celebration of ACC football played this year in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. You know, palm trees, sandy beaches, and this year, a lot of ACC football action. So get your tickets now for the December 6th Dr. Pepper ACC Football Championship. Because if you wait too long, it may be too late. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham. Virginia 77, South Florida 75. Not the prettiest win for this Cavs team, but it's a win. And it came down to what turned out to be effectively Virginia's final possession. Down 75-74 with 34.3 seconds to go, Dave Lato called a timeout and set up this play. Now you saw there the Calvin Baker dish to an open Sylvan Landisburg for an eventual game-winning basket. It wasn't exactly the way Lato drew it up. Set up a play uh, actually to, to, to get the ball in most hands. Drive a little bit, draw some help, that type of pass, and then run a couple of uh, misdirection screens to get uh, one of two guys' hands on the ball, and it, and it broke down early. So we found ourselves just, you know, kind of improvising, and, and that meant we went back to motion, and, and uh, we did that. One of the things that we've been hollering at all game was to set some ball screens to get us some penetration, and then it happened, and then Calvin just made it. Sylvan Landisberg, who led the Cavs in scoring with 21 points, was in the right place at the right time to hear him describe it. Honestly, I don't know what else. You know, I was like, <laughs> like, they had me playing the four, and I, like, I didn't know the position, so I was just like just running up and down the baseline, and he penetrated, and he just saw me open. That was it. Were you surprised through that open? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a wide open layup. Things happen in basketball. For Leda, it was probably the blessing in disguise that it didn't go as Ed called it in the huddle. You have to remember, this is Leto's first season in Charlottesville without Sean Singletary to take the big shot at the end of a game. I think he learned something about his team tonight. Well, not, not so much how they would react, but you know how they would execute. You know, I, I think what we're trying to establish is that if we, if we really believe in each other, then we'll execute the best man uh, from what we're trying to do, we'll get the shot. And without having to define somebody right now. And, uh, and we got to continue to, to uh, emphasize that and get to the point where, you know, if, if we, some guy who has the ball in his hands tries to make a play and the defense reacts to that, then he'll make the proper play or pass and somebody else will benefit. And, and uh, you know, having, having 44 with us for the first three years, uh, he, he could make it happen on his own. And, and it made life for everybody a whole lot easier. But, you know, without him now, we've got to expand ourselves to be so Virginia gets the win and is now 2-0 on the season. The Cavs host Radford Friday night, and the Augusta Free Press will be there. Join us at 7 p.m. for a live blog from Courtside. Also check back after the game for a podcast, videocast, game story, and more. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham.